Other news tonight, a new study in emergency services like ambulances show that there's funding and it might dry up by the end of this year. Local 5's Katie Amrein tells us how emergency services in our state are struggling to stay afloat. If we don't take a different path now in five to ten years, there's going to be many communities that don't have any service. EMS providers statewide are going through a crisis of low staffing and underfunding. Nearly 41 percent of EMS services in Wisconsin are staffed by six or fewer people, with 21 percent of services being run by just two to three staff members. In some cases, it's meant that that community doesn't have an ambulance coming at all. Um, we know that in the last year, there's been 10 communities in the state that have had 911 calls take place within their borders, and an ambulance never made it to their scene because an ambulance couldn't be found to send to them. Funding is also a major issue. According to the Wisconsin Office of Rural Health, about one third of EMS services will run out of money entirely this year. I spoke with multiple EMS providers at the WEMSA conference who have all expressed their issues with funding and staffing. It's causing stress on us and I'm feeling sooner or later it's gonna we're gonna have burn burn out and people aren't gonna want to respond. I hope that we can speed up the process in transitioning to some other sort of system in Wisconsin other than volunteers because uh, again we're in a, a rural retirement age area and our people are tired. We've been doing it for a long time. Gold Cross Ambulance Service broke down just how much it costs to keep emergency services running. Only about 52 cents on the dollar is what we actually will collect from insurance companies. Medical equipment's expensive. Ambulances are about $250,000 nowadays without the equipment in them. So to have you know all of the bills that you go out not to be reimbursed by insurance companies or Medicare or Medicaid uh, creates for a difficult atmosphere to continue to sustain services. So what can be done to fix this issue? James Small with the Wisconsin Office of Rural Health says it comes down to more government funding and hiring quality candidates. First and foremost, we need to figure out a way to get municipal government a greater amount of funding so that they can prioritize EMS and, and put money into these systems. I don't know of a service that's out there that's not hiring. Everybody's hiring. Everybody's looking for people. This is the time to come to it. Katie Ann Ryan, Local 5 News. Thank you, Katie. The Office of Rural Health also says 78% of ambulance services have made calls to neighboring communities because those communities did not have enough staff.